the ultimate fighter. Hi, I'm Matt Leung. We're here at uh, Tiger Showman's here in Emerald Park, New Jersey. I'm with Louis Gaudenup, tough contestant member of the Ultimate Fighter 14. First episode's done, second episode, you move in the house. What's the best part of the house? The best part of the house was probably the, the pool. And you didn't get to see it, but we kind of have a balcony mm -hmm. where we all used to chill at. Um, I got the room upstairs and the balcony was right there. And that's where a lot of us used to hang out. You know, you'll see as the season goes on, there was a group of us, uh, five or six of us that used to hang out. And that's where we used to hang out and chill. So that was my favorite part of the house. That and the kitchen. You know, we get a list, we could order whatever we want. So when we first got in there, the house was stacked. The pantry was full. You know, we were raiding it. Hands down, the best cooks were me and Dotson. We were cooking the most, you know, and if I cooked a bunch of food, I shared with people who were on my team or the other team, I wouldn't care. And, uh, you know, me and Dotson were flyweights naturally, 125ers. So it was great because we could eat steak and bacon. We, we could eat whatever we wanted. 135 was no problem for us to make. You, you know, they're, they're, they're doing the picks and uh, they do the coin flip and Bisping gets the, the coin flip, so he chooses first pick. And uh, they didn't show it on camera, but Dana White you know, was explaining the routine of what you're gonna do. When you get picked, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna put on your jersey, walk up to your coach, shake their hand, stand over here. And he was standing in between Bisping and Miller, and he kind of looks over at, at Bisping's list, and when he's explaining what to do, he was looking right at me. So I'm standing there going, oh shit, he's looking right at me. Um, Am I going to be first pick? No way, I'm first pick. Yeah. First pick for Team Bispin, Luis Gardino. Welcome to the team. I guess he liked what he saw. He knew Paul McVeigh, um, number one fighter in Europe. He said he was really tough. And um, I was his first pick. And I, I, I thought it was really cool. I was kind of honored. And uh, I think it did kind of put like a target on your back. Like, oh, you're the first pick. You know what I mean? So before the show, I was on the computer every day trying to figure out who the coaches were and stuff. And uh, when I found out it was going to be Mayhem and Bisping, you know, I kind of wanted Mayhem because I thought our personalities would click more. You know, uh, he does the wacky hair, wacky entrances. He's kind of a little bit crazy like me. Um, I wouldn't say I was disappointed that I was on Bisping's team. But once I hung out with him, you know, trained with him for two or three days, you know, our personalities clicked. And uh, the way they portray him on TV, you know, I always thought he was a dick. I'm going to be honest. And I told him that. But uh, he's a really nice guy. He's cool. He's down to earth. Um, I guess you could say he's a dick, but he doesn't take no shit from anybody. So I got to respect him for that. Uh, when the fight was set up, I thought it was a, a classic fight of striker versus grappler. He, he let him get the takedown early in the first round. But uh, if you watch the show, it's even like Dana White said. If you had to score that round on damage alone, Marcus was doing more damage with Caraway on his back. I mean, he was hitting him with hard right hands. You know, his eye got swelled up a little bit. So he was doing more damage, even though Brian had his back for four and a half minutes. You know, Mayhem Miller, we talked about his personality with his a uh, little bit off the wall stuff. We, we saw you pull the prank, throwing in all the tires in your room. Will we get to see a retal retaliation from Team Bisping coming up? There, uh, there's plenty of pranks I go on the entire season. I can't go too much into detail, but I will say that uh, on our team, our assistant coach, Tiki Goshen, he is the prank master, and you guys will see why. And uh, that tire thing has nothing on what's coming up.